Hi right, everyone, welcome back to the Kriegsmarine playthrough of Atlantic Fleet. Here we are, 1st of July 1942. Last time out we sunk the mighty battleship North Carolina and also the aircraft carrier Illustrious, which was incredible, both from uh, U-boat action and uh, just a bit of a, a front. We moved our, our battleships out of this um, Arctic convoy route and look what's just popped up another submarine to come and hunt them so we're going to move them away we got u-boats up there which will probably continue to flood up there to be fair uh, and out here into the bay of biscay we have uh herman kuhn um z19 has been re um repaired and uh resupplied so we're going to bring that just way down to match up with the uh z5 paul jacoby destroyer and also the light cruiser carl shrew and meanwhile, these two U-boats, who should now be fully stocked, they are. We'll move those into uh, that square there. Nice. So we're going to bring the Karlsruhe and the other two destroyers down to meet up with this one, and they're going to patrol down here. Um, I might bring these guys down there and split them. Uh, and obviously, the Bismarck's going to be popping out of port um, sometime soon. Uh, so we'll see how that goes as well. Meanwhile, up here in the North Cape, Spitsbergen, U-103 and U-41 have found a large convoy uh, escorted by two destroyers, the Gurkha and the Harvester. The initiative was with the Brits or the Allies, so, um, yeah. Um, there's the two destroyers. Where's our other U-boat? In front of them? It is. Oh, okay. Right, if we can try and have a pop at the harvester from back here, it's going to be a challenge. And there's the harvester, um, 5,500 meters away. Torpedo solution of 3474, four. mind you, they are turning. I think they've calculated that, haven't they? So I'll pop one there. Can I have a shot at that one? Oh no, she's out of range. Troop transport module on top of that as we're here. We're firing in that direction. Fire. Two torpedoes away. There's a good chance if she dodges this one, she may hit the one intended for the uh, troop transport. You can only hope. Right, U41. You move in. Uh, actually, I'm going to wait a turn. Oh, we've got airstrike, we've got two bombers. Okay, we'll, we'll hold off onto those as well. Okay, the harvester's torpedo is on target. The harvester has gone. The other one is heading for the um, troop transport. Lovely. Right, I think maybe now we've weakened the anti aircraft fire. We could have a pop at this one. Now. Is this going to be a bomb run with a dive bomber or a flat bomber? That's the question. Dive bomber, okay. Oh, we went too early. We've gone too early. Now we got shot down. Oh, she dropped the bombs though. Went too early. Wait on that one. Okay, maybe that isn't a scorch mark. It's just a, it's just a, a hole, shadow or something. Ooh, she's going low. Is that going to go? Yes, I thought it was. You can see how quickly she was going. It was exaggerated, wasn't it? But you know, let's have a pop at this. Let's come from the rear then. Slightly off. Okay, not the best, but 
She's damaged, but not crippled, sadly. Um, where is she? Oh, there she's there. The Gurkha. Gurkha number three, is it? Seems to be a lot of Gurkhas out here. Um, so, torpedo solution of uh, 2.3. 2.2. We put a spread fire two meters away. Meanwhile, they're all coming nicely towards um, U41. But if we can get the Gurkha, then we don't need to waste any more torpedoes, really. So we'll just follow these up and hold fire for the moment. Oh, is she even going to cover the ground needed to actually put these torpedoes together? That's the question. Yes, yeah, she is. I think one's, one's going to get her. Oh, they run out of steam. You bugger. Torpedo reloaded. She's out of range, apparently. Okay, we'll switch. Where's. The, is that her there? Yes, there she is, right. Um, let's try and have a pop from here then. Uh, angle of. Angle about. Sorry, uh, torpedo solution of 13. Old habits die hard and all that. Right. Let's fire a couple of torpedoes that way. We'll fire one into this as well. They're gonna miss. They might. They might actually sneak behind. You know. All right, still chasing in. Uh, let's turn sight to port. Yeah, they're gonna miss. Unbelievable. Whoa. Aye, aye, aye. It's gonna be. A real frustration, frustrating time now hunting down that bloody destroyer. All right. Um, she's going to jink behind 4.5. Yeah, it's right where the. Um, we're going to hold it just in case she pauses because of the tanker going past. So we'll hold on to that. Oh, she's going to go behind her. Okay. Torpedo reloaded. Okie kokey. Torpedo reloaded. That's fine. Slowly catching it up. Well, probably not. She's coming back for U-103, which is good. U-103 has three torpedoes reloaded. Okay, good. Meanwhile, you're following up as well.
Whoa, okay. Destroyer opens up. The Gurkha is in action. Right. Turn slight to starboard. There is. There she is. 4,500 meters away. We've got four torpedoes. Full spread. She's not getting away from this one. 10.3. Hopefully she can't dodge that. She'll probably turn right tight inside now. Meanwhile, U41 is picking their way through the traffic. Close. No cigar. Here we go. There we go. Good. The Gurkha has finally been sunk. Took far too many torpedoes than they needed, but we got her. Sink merchants and withdraw. There we go. But even with a little bit of damage to U-103 from the shooting of the Gurkha, uh, we sink the Gurkha and the harvested escorts and the rest of the convoy for uh, 95,500 merchant tonnage. Wow. it's quite impressive. Meanwhile, U-65 and U-66 have um, spotted the Hesperser. Hes Hespersus? Hespersus. I'm not sure. And a C2 freighter. Oh, thy unpronounceable name. Let's, uh... Where's the other U-boat? Is it on the other side? Oh, no, it's behind them. Honestly, is it worth bothering? Um, 350.8. We might as well try and sink the freighter and move on. Is that, that's probably a two, two torpedo ship, that one. Yeah, you're far too far behind. You can stay to, to watch, I suppose. No aircraft. Torpedoes are winging their way into the uh, merchant ship now. Oh, not quite. Honestly, if we sink the cargo, we might as well leave. Two good hits. She's rocking and rolling. She's dropping. She's dropping. He's gone. Disengage. And you can dive. Why can't you disengage anymore? Because you turned into the action. Yeah, we'll let that destroyer um, think about it on the long drive home. There we go. Haha. <laughs> so, C2 freighter sunk for 5,500 tons. U65, U66. Go away in glory. Ooh, meanwhile, finally, here we go. Uh, around the Canary Islands, the light cruiser Karlsruhe and the destroyers Z-19 and Z-5 have um, spotted and engaged a light cruiser, Shariblis, and the um, and a freighter as well. Right, a bit of cruiser action. Where is she? She's there. I can't see her. Is that her there? Yes. She's a Dido class light cruiser. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay. Um, turn to starboard. Elevation 10.9. Uh, sorry, 10.5. Should we go for armor piercing to begin with? Try and break some systems. Crikey, Moses. Did we hit a turret or something? What was that?
No, it must have been a big spark as it ricocheted off because <laughs> nothing else has happened. Right, flank speed. Turn sight to starboard. Uh, target the sh uh, Shirobliss. Um, high explosives, I guess. Uh, elevation of 20.1. Wind's with us, mostly. Slightly, slightly overcooked that. Right, Paul Jacoby, you're probably in the most danger, so you turn to starboard as well. Poor Paul Jacoby, she's just been repaired. She can get absolutely pummeled by this cruiser now, isn't she? I can see it coming. Oh, they got aircraft. Bring her down, bring her down. Bring it down, bring it out. She's going for the destroyer. Uh, no, I'm not sure what they were going for. That's something that I'd do. What was that? I'm not complaining, actually. Right. Last time we got some good hits, didn't we? At 10.5. 9.8. Okay, that sounds about right. And adjust. Fire. Mama, we were just wide. Do we have any aircraft? Have they got aircraft? No, we don't. Of course, of course we don't. 14.6. We were long last time. 14.6. Okay. I'm going to go 15.9 because that seems a, a, lot, a lot to uh, drop down. Okay, the wind's not as strong as I think. Right, 10.7, although we did get a hit on her last time. Uh, 8.9. Okay, we'll, some, we'll, go, we'll go for about, yeah, 9.3. 9.2. Oh, that sounds about right. Oh, she's opening up on my cruiser, as you'd expect. Kind of half expected to go for one of the destroyers, I don't know why. Right, um, 8.9, where were we last time? 8.9, okay. I'll, I'll go with that. Oh! The angle's not working for us very well. Paul Jacoby can release some torpedoes though this time, I think. I think that's what we'll go with. The wind is much lighter than I expected. Actually, let's just get some high explosives into her. Um, 6.5. 6.7, that'll do. Merchant ships really like. I, I really shouldn't be invited to this party. It's not really for me. <laughs> right, six, six some high explosives on her. There we go. Got her burning. Uh, fourteen two. Elevation sixteen. Oh, that's a hell of a drop. Um. Eleven six, they reckon. I'll go down to, I'll go to twelve six. Right. Let's send some torpedoes her way. There's a send four in a tight. Module like that. Yeah, I thought 
fortune turner. Oh, she's loosening her own torpedoes. Ooh, get you. And our torpedoes are coming first. Oh, actually, they might just miss. Or they're going to miss. Rubbish. Um, so no doubt those torpedoes were for my light cruiser. But I've got the confidence that we can probably sink her before we... Maybe we do need to react. 7-1, uh, okay. 7-2. We wait. We hold our breath. No. Nine point two. Go okay, I'll go nine seven, I think. Right. Harder port. Dodge those. Um, okay, we can't use any more torpedoes from here, but we can fire a few more shells. 1.6. Let's go to... Oh, <laughs> rubbishly inaccurate. Let's dodge our torpedoes. Full salvo. Oh my goodness me, that was a full salvo and a half. Chavis is doing a lot better than I was expecting, actually. Oh, I don't know why. She's got a lot of guns. Right. Hard to starboard. Target here. Um, 6.5. Sink, damn you! Sink! Um, 8.5. I need to sink her quick, because I don't want to have a torpedo hit my cruiser. So we're going a bit excessive. You're kidding me. Do they not make it or do they just go dud? What? Were they too close? I can't believe that. Oh my goodness me. Right, um, 9.6. Get to 7. <laughs> Why won't she sink? Gonna have to get my cruiser in if she survives my cruiser now. I'm, gonna have, I'm worried about my cruiser. Gonna have to get her into four. Two thousand. They missed. They actually missed. Can you believe that? I think somebody's um, pulling my leg there. Nineteen hundred meters. That torpedo couldn't make nineteen hundred meters, and now it's going to miss. Ah, oh, what is going on? The torpedo should do far more that in their first. Oh, that one did actually just snag it. That's 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 a bit suspect, if you ask me. It's a little bit suspect, if you ask me. Um, 
Anyway, we dodged those torpedoes. Let's swing it hard to port again. Let's get the front gun back round. Ah, some questionable, questionable things going on here. Uh, seven two. Oh, finally! Crikey Moses, let's pay some respects to this ship. This is a tough Dido class cruiser. Crikey Moses. That was tough. Sink merchants and withdraw. So we sunk the Dido class cruiser and the large freighter for 5,600 warship tons and 7,800 tons of merchant shipping. However, Karlsruhe has taken some heavy damage and will need to head back to port. Meanwhile, Z-26, who's been um, patrolling around the Cape Verde Islands, has got the SS Taku hunting her. And they've got aircraft as well. Oh, crap. They look like big bombs, don't they? Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Thankfully, only one hit. Although it's on fire, triple A's damaged, rubbish. Contact bearing, where is it? She's over there. Oh, I see it. Do we have any aircraft into our disposal? No, just us. Just us on our little lonesome. Right, where is this sound contact? How far is that away? It is, in fact, 7,000 meters away. Okay. Let's get some armor piercing. Try and penetrate. Um, submarine's hull. So I think um, we were just long with seven. So if we drop that day to say six six. Must be taking some damage from that. Must be. Fire again. Rinse and repeat. Periscope right there. Yeah, we damaged her. Yep, sent her packing with light damage. Sent her away, brilliant. Uh, Z26 has got medium damage. Meanwhile, around the Bay of Biscay, warship attacked by Axis aircraft. Light cruiser Liverpool has received medium damage. Okay. So, Z26, we're going to move up here. Um, and we'll, we'll wait We'll wait a turn. And then we'll get Z26 and uh, Karlsruhe up to um, the ports up here. Meanwhile, we've also got, obviously, ships in um, the light cruiser Liverpool in uh, the Bay of Biscay. No point moving our ships now because they would, would have gone, but um, let's get all those selected. Move those down to Iceland. Let's see what else we can do. Right, Bismarck must be popping out soon. Um, meanwhile, here in the Azor Islands, water's just off it. U-37 and U-77 spotted a Liberty Freighter, C-2 Freighter, being escorted by a Corvette. Alyssim. In the dead of night. Brilliant. Um, let's target this freighter here. That's 5,000. What's that? That's five. Oh, okay, we'll get two, two torpedoes at each, I reckon. Um, solution of 3554. Pop two torpedoes there. Target this one, 10 6. Pop 
two torpedoes there, and hopefully that's the convoy ship sunk. And we'll let the corvette go on her merry way. There's the corvette. U-77 could maybe engage her, but is it really worth it, I ask you? I don't know. Freighter's gone. Two torpedoes angling for that one. Move forward and we'll wait for reloads. U77, turn and face the Corvette. Just in case. But I'm hoping. Oh, they may sneak away. Uh, no. Oh, we get one. Tell you what, U77 can finish this one off and then we'll get out of dodge. Target the CT freighter, torpedo solution of 8. Take over. There you go. Oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> she's still hanging in there. Two torpedoes, and she's hanging in there. Okay. We'll give her a third torpedo, then. If that's what she wants, that's what she'll get. Oh, you devil. Anyway, she's gone. <laughs> waste. Doesn't want me to waste another torpedo. That's all that is. Of course, that's going to miss now, because... She's, they stop dead when they get hit and die. Anyway. Uh, oh, no, 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 we can't. No, sorry. We've done the exact opposite. We've, we've killed the merchants. We can't just um, sink escorts and go. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So we'll just dive away now. Job done. Save the rest of the ammo for another sunny day. And that's exactly what we did. U-37, U-77 left the area, leaving the Corvette on her own after sinking the Liberty Freighter for 14,300 tonnes and the C-2 Freighter for 5,500 tonnes. Noise. Meanwhile, in the Norwegian Sea, warships attacked by Axis aircraft. The battleship Barum has received heavy damage, Norwegian Sea. <laughs> Let's all send the group. If we got the bar room sunk there or damaged there, let's try and send some um, ships to try and intercept and stop them. Um, meanwhile, these guys, you're going to head back up to the Bay of Biscay and you guys are going to go into port for repairs. I think is the Bismarck still the Bismarck still four turns in there. Crikey Moses, okay. I wonder where she was. I was getting a bit worried about her. But she's okay. Right. Oh, meanwhile. In Oh, meanwhile. No. Meanwhile, uh U thirty eight in the United Kingdom waters has spotted a small convoy, uh escorted by a Corvette Spry. For for a minute I thought that was a BD. Uh, sorry, a BC, a battle cruiser, but no, it's a, it's a Corvette. It's, it's the exact opposite of a battle cruiser. <laughs> battle cruiser is heavily armed and fast. A Corvette is neither of those. Right, let's um, turn to port. We've got troop transport here. Have a pop at that. Uh, three three seven seven. Pop one there. It's out of our range. No, it's not actually. This Liberty Freighter. 331.4. C3 Freighter. 338.4. 348.4, I beg your pardon. Copy this away.
good hit on the troop ship. Ooh, she's rocking on the rolling. Keep an eye on her. Oh, we got airstrikes. So I'll get the lead ship then. Well, it's something I wasn't expecting out of the UK waters, but okay, cool. Now, is this flat bombing? No, it's not, it's dive bombing. not the best. It's not very good at all. Disappointed. Disappointed. What we should have done is really maybe target the Corvair. And then we could just move away without doing any more damage, couldn't we? Oh, the uh, Liberty Freighter has just gone pop over there. camera anyway direct hit on the Corvette and she's gone I get it right for once and the bloody don't see it anyway let's uh, sink merchants and withdraw brilliant so thanks to the Stuka pilots and uh, U38 we sunk the Corvette Spry for 950 warship tons and the rest of the ships for 47 sorry 42,700 tons of merchant shipping Noise. Meanwhile, United Kingdom, submarine attacked by enemy aircraft, U-38, we've just been then, has received medium damage. Meanwhile, in the Bay of Biscay, submarine attacked by enemy aircraft, SS Triumph, medium damage. So that's our aircraft attacking their submarines. And United Kingdom once more, Axis bombers have attacked the naval bases at Liverpool, Portsmouth, causing light damage, current repairs delayed by two turns. Wow, that all happened then, didn't it? Um... Eisenhower and crew minus U27. Boop. Let's go into the Norwegian Sea to see if we can find any of these bloody ships who keep teasing us. They pretend they're there. They pretend they're there. Right. Um, U38. What we could do is swap you. U43 could come in here. U38. If you pop over to Kiel and just get some repairs done. Wonderful. Good. That should hold them in uh, good stead for the moment. Well, it is the surface battle that we've all waited for. The Nisenau Turpits versus the mighty Corvette. Amaranthus. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay, where is she? But <laughs> She's tiny. You can barely see her. Right. But don't don't tell me she's going to be able to um, instruct thousands of B-24s and to come in and um, blast away. Um, elevation of 16.6. Wind is quite strong. So let's give it a few more notches. Let's go 16.8. Shell almost hit. Right, Turpit, your turn. Try not to run into the back of them, that'd be awkward. Um, 15 7. Oh, she's been rocked in this, in this water, no doubt. Do we have any aircraft? No. Um, 18 is the the first direction from the gun directors. 17.9, there we go, that'll do. Oh, 
I over adjusted for the wind, I think. Not enough range. Honestly, I don't think there's much point in firing. Well, I suppose we could have a shot, I suppose. You never know. It's like. hitting a fly with a cannon, but. Um, 33.3, so it's going to be really inaccurate. 33.6, there we go. Basically firing directly up. Yeah, Hans Liedman charging an interceptor. I'm not even going to bother firing the guns for the um, destroyers at this range. Right, here we go. Yeah, told you. She's got a complete swerve of aircraft. Our aircraft gun. Anti aircraft gun. It's fast bringing her down. Going for one of my destroyers. I think I've lost the destroyer. Well, small mercies that she went for the destroyer and not one of the capital ships. I can't believe that, but I can't believe the anti aircraft fire didn't bring her down either. But hey ho, all these ships are massed. And they couldn't, anyway, it doesn't matter. 14-4. Um, Last time it was 16-8, we were way long. 14-4, okay. I'm going to go 14... 14-8. Not quite. Right, Tirpitz, 15-1. Uh, go down 15-1. The wind's not too bad. More or less in our face. Ah, these are landing right next, not causing any damage at all. You'd think just, you know, a shell that size landing right next to the hull and the water dispersing would cause stress on the joints and... Never mind. It's not seem to be happening. 20.3. Let's crank that elevation up then. 20.2, that'll do. The wind did push it away. Uh, we were well short last time, but they reckon again, so we're going to keep where we were far again. Nope, still short. Oh, she doesn't have any more aircraft to bring in, which is uh, good to see. Right, nice now. Careful not to clip the back of that to destroy and cause some sort of pit maneuver. It's the last thing we need. Right, 14. She's too small for our gun directors to actually lock onto her properly. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep the gun range the same. Come on, th these plumes of water would probably just engulf her deck and sink her anyway, wouldn't they? The sheer volume of water landing on her deck. Um, right, last time we fired at 20 point thing, then there's 16.9 now. I don't think it's going to be quite that. Let's go 18.6. She 
He's just not big enough to land a shell on. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, I'm actually going to increase range because I still don't think we've got shells anywhere near her yet, have we? No, the wind's taking them. We'll stop firing from the light cruiser. She's, she's too far out to be effective. Move the destroyers up. As one. She's a brave crew, though, mind. Very brave crew. Um, 14.5. We seem to be falling short, and they, they keep reducing... Oh no, they've actually increased the elevation. <coughs> Excuse me. I will read it properly. Oh, here we go. Bloody hell, that was hard work. Bloody hell. Right, anyway. <laughs> Amaranthus has been sunk for 950 tons. We probably sent more than 950 tons worth of ammo towards her. But um, Z-24 did receive medium damage from that bombing um, from the Liberator. So something to bear in mind. Meanwhile, in the West North Atlantic, U-28 on patrol has spotted a convoy of Liberty Freighters, etc. Uh, escorted by the destroyer Hotspur. Is that the Hotspur over there? It is. We are not in a great position. However, if we could do some trick shots, 1.1 uh, solution, which would be there. Now, if I assume she's going to spot this and send a spread of torpedoes out, I'll keep one back. Oh, they haven't spotted us, so it is worth the gamble firing these torpedoes. I put them a little bit closer together than I was expecting, actually, but uh, it is worth the gamble. Don't do anything to give our position away. Oh, oh she's out of range now. Look, you only get one shot, and she's out of range. Are they going to run out of steam? Torpedoes run out of steam. I'm going to disengage. No, we lost the initiative on that one. Not worth, not worth losing the sub of that. Meanwhile, in the East Mediterranean Sea, Axis bombers attack naval bases at Alexandria, causing very heavy, causing heavy damage. Current repairs delayed by four turns. Okay. Um. Meanwhile, uh, Z24, you might as well go into right, Z24 and Z25. We pop you in there for repairs. You'll be coming out with a Bismarck. Wonderful. Okay. The rest of you guys, minus U104, you come up here again. I'm sh sure there's some bloody battleships here somewhere. Uh, you two are waiting for the um, culture to pop out, aren't you? So that's good. Okay. Oh, meanwhile, we've come up here, of course. Um, the Tigris submarine is waiting for us. We have the initiative, though. Where is she? So she's probably got a billion and one aircraft at her disposal. She's there somewhere. See ya. <laughs> Nowhere near where it was. Let's get our battleships out of the way. Um. 
Konigsberg. Now you should be able to continue on as well. We'll just get the destroyers to go and investigate. That should be ample. Harder port. Contact. 275. There you go. Point three. Um, probably worth a torpedo. We'll pop one in the middle. Again, not sure which way she's facing. So we'll pop one on either side of the green sphere. And hopefully that will pick up if she's turned or facing a different way or moving off. Oh wow, we're really close on this one. Oh, it'd be silly not to. I know we've just fired a torpedo, but it'd be silly not to fire one um, and just get rid of the threat straight away. See, this might move because that U-boat can move, so that's going to get her. Yep. <laughs> Got her. These torpedoes didn't even make it. Never mind. It's okay. Tigress has been sunk. Brilliant. 1,600 tons. Brilliant. What is this? The battleship. Anyway, a battleship. Washington with the destroyer Vivian is there. U-27. Around the Faroe Isles. Bloody hell, the ships were literally just there. We'll send them back. There you go, there's the Washington. Nice. Um, where are we positioned? Well, actually, we might not get a chance to get engaged the Washington um, with the surface ships because... The U-boat might finish her off. One more turn. But she's starting to she'll be pulling away from us now, so we need to fire this turn. Um three five nine point eight. Point seven, there we go. Full spread. Fire. Surely we can't take two frontline battleships off the American Navy. Oh. Oh. I think a couple are going to sneak wide. Oh, maybe not. Oh, one snuck away. Three good hits on her, though. We'll close in for a reload. Oh, that's woken this one up. She's got a little bit of a list going. Not as bad as the North Carolina had after three torpedoes. See sister ships. Uh, three fifty. Actually, I'm going to hold off that torpedo just in case she slows down with the damage. She slowed down. She um, maybe not. Fire this torpedo this time. Uh, three four seven two. Far out there, be fine. All right, Vivian's come to say hello. Try and find us at least. Ah, oh, it's looking good. Oh, she's put the fire out. The damage control crews have done a brilliant job. Sadly. But they've got another problem coming in. Any 
anything? <laughs> no? I'm going to dive. Oh, torpedo reloaded. Bloody typical, isn't it? Just to try and shake the Vivian off. You'll pop up next time and fire that other torpedo. It's worth it. Come on. We're going to have to gamble. Let's try and get another torpedo away. Add the Washington. Um, 338.1. What's the betting this destroyer is right in the way? 338.1. That's quite a lot to fire there. Torpedo away. Hopefully I'll dodge the um the destroyer. If the Washington decides to start turning, or she's still turning to port, which is good. I was gonna say if she's gonna start turning to starboard, then we'd easily miss. Oh, they spotted us. Ow! To be number five is heading in. I think she's going to dodge it. Oh, she's looking very low at the rear. Dive the boat. Dive the boat. Oh no! Torpedo number five is going to crack in. I think the Washington might have just bitten off more she than she can chew with this one. I'm waiting for the pop. No, no, okay. Torpedo reloaded, good. We'll fire that next time. Oh, she's listing so badly. She's making smoke, she's in trouble. Surely one more torpedo would be it. This would be her nail in the coffin, right? Must be. Periscope depth. Vivian is right there. We could die doing this, but we could also have a huge bit of glory as well. Wow. I hope I gave that enough lead. Oh, she's turning the other way now. Oh, it's going to miss her. We're right there. We're right there. Dive, dive, dive. Yeah, she's turning to starboard. It's going to sneak by in front of her. Rubbish. How far is that ship away? 1,300 metres. What about... This is, again, a silly move, but... Yeah, that was a really silly move. I thought I'd be able to get her with a rear torpedo. But apparently not. Nah, it's going to sneak by. Oof. Oh, no, we might actually get it. As long as it does, does have a little bit more steam in it. Go on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Yes, she's gone. She's gone. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The Washington has been sunk. Two North Carolina battleships sunk in sequential months. In Credible. They're not the threat we, th we thought they were, are they, eh? Eh? We're doing brilliantly against them. Meanwhile, 
Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's just get out of Dodge. Amazing. U-27 secures an incredible prize. The battleship Washington. 36,000 tons. But it's not over yet. U-37, U-77 have spotted um, a small, well, a couple of ships being escorted by a destroyer and a... Oh, our old friend Elysium. Did we destroy that? Or, no, that's the one we let, let go, isn't it? Okay. Um, so I think that's the Elysium Corvette. There's the destroyer. We sink these two uh, merchant ships and then we'll get our dodge again. Target the tanker. Uh, 3410. Uh, 3410, sorry. I'll pop two torpedoes towards the tanker, and I'll pop two torpedoes towards this large freighter. Uh, 1.2 is the thingy. Fire. See where the other U-boat is as well. Oh, right in front of them. Okay, well, you can just turn and face, actually. You just hold fire, because I think those two those torpedoes fired will be enough. Yep, the large freighter's gone. Oh, they haven't quite made the um, tanky yet. the T2 tanker. Beautiful. So you, my friend, you 37, you can begin to disengage. And I wonder, would it be interesting to try and take out the destroyer and leave Elysium on her own and then she'll get a reputation as being a real cursed escort ship? <laughs> Oh no, not Elysium. Oh god, she lost all her convoy, um, escorts last time. That'd be funny, I think. Uh, 3447. I'll put some torpedoes there. Go fishing for her. Oh! They went straight past. Already gone past. Oh, I could have hit her in one then. That's slightly annoying. It's very annoying, in fact. Uh, point blank range now, must be. Right, one on the bow. Section-y. Yay! Legion's gone. There you go, Elysium. <laughs> Your reputation is being built. The reputation of cursed. <laughs> the cursed is ex... As a score ship, would be brilliant. I can, I can, you know, I can see it happening right now. You know how superstitious they are on the sea. Or they may, maybe they think she's colluding with the enemy. Oh, that would be good as well. Crew sacrificed. The ships melted down. <laughs> Did you see that? She tried to. She tried to. <laughs> she tried to commit suicide on one of those torpedoes. No, don't leave me here again. Uh, brilliant. See the desperation in her now. Go, no, not me again. How could you do this? How could the fates allow this? U-37, U-77, 
Sink the Legion Destroyer plus uh, a large freighter for 7,800 tons and a T2 tanker for 22,500 tons. The Corvette Elysium survives. The rumour begins. Brilliant. And there we are. Week 3.5 of July 1942. Wow. The battleship Washington has gone. We're sneaking up to 208,857 average tonnage a month. Which is going in the right direction. And Bismarck will be out next time from repairs. Plus Z25 to escort her. Z24 will be another turn. And then Karlsruhe will be gone another five turns before she comes out. Um, so we've thankfully not lost a, another vessel so far. But the naval uh, vessel sunk for the Allies. 184 now. It's now 1 million. 23,390 tonnes of warship tonnage sunk. Merchants lost 1,385 for 7,310,010 tonnes. Wow, that's brutal. We're going to leave it there. We're doing okay. We're, we've only got six bars on the tonnage bar. Red bars, should I say, on the tonnage bar. So we need to uh, up that up as much as we can. But as you can see, we're up to 208,000 tons a month now which is good i think we need to be around the 700 and 750 yeah 750,000 tons a month i think so we're we need to push it up quite a lot to get there but we're in we're moving in the right direction which is the main thing and we're taking out a lot of the capital ships for the uh the allies which um obviously makes our battleships slightly superfluous in this um confrontation at the moment because they haven't actually engaged anything bigger than a destroyer i don't think um, obviously we had the Corvette recently and the light cruiser we took on was with another another light cruiser so yeah I don't think our battleships are really taking on anything of 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 worth um, so the three battleships you see there the Bismarck, Gneisenau and Tirpitz are kind of yeah a bit showy and not really needed at the moment but um, hey we got them and uh, should we run into the battleship how the hood is still out there I suppose so you got to think about that um, so there are some big hitters still out there, which they'll be coming uh, very much in in uh, handy for. So we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Another battleship sunk. Things are going great. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you want to see some more, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get the notification when the next video is released. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.